When I was about to start my second year of studying Masters of Architecture, I decided that I needed a better performing laptop to keep up with the workload of uni final projects. I said to myself that if I needed a laptop, I will be better off buying the best laptop that I could buy and keep it for many years without needing to change than to get a more temporarily cheaper laptop which I have to replace very soon after I buy it. It was at that moment that I decided to buy the Razer Blade 15 Advanced Laptop, the most powerful gaming laptop for almost £3,000 which seemed to be able to handle high quality renders and complex 3D modeling. But my experience of using this laptop so far tells a very different story. Hello friends and welcome to the channel. My name is Amir and I'm a fifth year architecture student at the London School of Architecture. And in this video, I will be sharing my honest opinion on using the Razer Blades Ultimate Gaming Laptop for architecture works and rendering. Choosing a laptop is always tricky for architecture students as there are so many factors that need to be put in consideration when choosing one. When it came to my choice, I wanted to factor in things like RAM, processor, and graphics card, all of which is important for doing tasks like rendering and 3D modeling and working on large CAD files. So as a result, Windows laptops have been the primary choice for many architecture students, including myself. With all of these requirements, gaming laptops started to become more appealing to me, as they usually have high specs, making them ideal for running high graphical games. So finally, I ended up buying the Razer Blade 15 Advanced model with really high specs for a laptop, which made me convinced that it could keep me happy for at least 5 to 7 years. So the specs included 32GB of RAM, which is a lot, GeForce RTX 3080 GPU, 11th generation Core i7-11800H processor, and 1TB storage, and I spent about 2899 in total for the laptop. So after using the laptop for a few months, now I can say that I regret buying it for a couple of reasons. But the first and a major disappointing point about the laptop is that its performance is highly dependent to the battery. Meaning that if you want the laptop to perform at its highest level, you have to keep it connected to a charger at all time. I noticed this first when I received the laptop and wanted to run the Lumion benchmark test to see what score it will get. So I ran the test and I was in shock to see that the laptop received such a low score, even lower than my previous laptop. Then after some searching, I understood that this was because the laptop was not connected to a charger when running the test. This also meant that I couldn't use the laptop for any heavy labor tasks such as rendering or modeling when I was not close to a power source. Later on this got even more annoying when the laptop was full of charge and I still had to keep it connected to a power source to keep it running smoothly, knowing that it will affect its battery life. So the second point is poor battery life in general. When I started using the laptop, I was surprised to see that it could only work for two and a half hours with a full charge. This has now even shrinked to almost 40 minutes after a few months, meaning that I almost need a power source at all time when I want to use the laptop, even for browsing web. And thirdly, blue screen. Now this is the weirdest problem out of all. It first appeared after two to three months of using the laptop while I was working on a heavy labor task and suddenly a blue screen appeared on the screen with a QR code. This basically meant that I had to restart the laptop without being able to save the file I was working on. This was happening quite frequently before I updated the laptop to Windows 11 but I have recently also experienced this as well, so I don't think this has gone away completely. I don't actually know if this is because my laptop is defective or something, or this is a problem that everyone has. When I searched online, I saw a couple of other people having the same problem as well. The laptop crashed 11 times. Windows blue screen of death and uh, you can do nothing. Well, so I don't personally think that this is anything to do with my laptop alone. Now you might ask how does the laptop perform when it's connected to a power source in its highest performance mode? I have to say I'm usually quite happy when it's connected to a power source. Obviously with its high specs and its price, I expect it to be able to handle my tasks when in high performance mode. But with similar price and specs, I would say I absolutely regret buying this laptop as I have been very limited in using it in different situations. I hope this video has helped you to make up your own mind about buying the Razer Blade 15 advanced model laptop. Please let me know if you have 
other or similar experiences in using this laptop in the comment section. I also hope that you have a great rest of the day and see you soon in the next video.